Well, good morning, guys. Today is Tracy's Tuesday Tips. I'm Tracy. This is Entrepreneur Girl Channel. Glad you're here today. We are going to be talking about online arbitrage. It's our last online arbitrage video. Um, we're going to be moving on to private label subjects. But for today, what I wanted to do was do kind of a live sourcing trip with you. So I don't know what I'm going to find. I don't know if I'll find really great stuff. I don't know if I won't find anything but that is just the way that it is and I want you to know that because not every time you pop on your computer do you find really great stuff but I'm hoping what you will get from this video today is you will see how I've taken everything that we've been talking about the last couple of weeks and how I actually apply it when doing a search because sometimes that's the hard part right is knowing exactly what you're looking at how to look at it the right way and you just kind of feel a little leery when you're doing it yourself so this was the best way that I could think of to kind of just join alongside you and have a source together online is that you were just kind of looking over my shoulder and watching me do it so today these are the things that I'm gonna have open on my computer if you want to follow along and have them open on your computer I am going to be using walmart.com and the reason I'm using Walmart because it's not my favorite and the reason it's not my favorite is because everybody uses walmart.com so typically you have a lot of competition and it can be harder to find profitable items the more obscure your site is the more that people don't really know about it the most likely you are to have you know be able to find a lot of good products but we are going to be using Walmart because it is a platform that everybody's familiar with everybody uses and I thought that would be um, a good start for you the second thing we're going to have open is FBA calculator you can do a Google search for that the reason I'm using that versus say Scoutify is because it's free and anyone can use that and I want to keep everything today accessible to everyone uh, the next one is camelcamelcamel.com, and that is also free. And I'm going to have two um, Chrome extensions open, and that's Ebates and Price Blink. And again, those are free. So everything that we are going to be doing today, anyone can do from beginner to advanced. And these are all free, so you don't have to invest any money. You can follow along and just do it old school. So here we go, for better or for worse. Keep your fingers crossed. I hope we find at least a couple of profitable items, but we do have to keep the video down in time. So whatever we see, we see. Let's get busy. Okay, so I am making a video showing you how I source at walmart.com. I thought it was important to see an example live so that you can see how all of the written information kind of plays out and meshes together, you know, when you're actually going through the process. So the first thing we want to do is go to walmart.com and there are many departments to choose from, as you can see over here on the left-hand side. Now there's no right or wrong answer over here on choosing a department. You can choose one randomly. You can go through each and every one of them if you want to or have time. Um, pick one that you have experience with maybe. There isn't really a wrong category as long as you use the ranking system that we talked about, you know, that you've determined to be profitable for each one of these categories. Now for me, I'm normally sports or home, and so I'm going to um, go to departments and I'm going to go to home furniture and appliances because that's normally one that I get into a lot. And then I'm going to get into kitchen appliances. Okay, now continuing on this left-hand side here, I only want to deal with the clearance items. So I'm going to click on the clearance. And you can see now I have 456 results. So we're narrowing it down from the thousands to the hundreds, but that's still way too many for me to go through today or you know, much less in a little six minute video. Um, other considerations is ship to home. Because we're online arbitraging, I wanted to ship to home unless it's fourth quarter and there's some kind of special consideration. Uh, the whole point is to have it shipped at home. So I'm definitely gonna click that. And then the last thing that I like to click 
is I want it to come from walmart.com. Now down here under retailers, you can see that they allow third-party sellers, um, Walmart does, so there's a lot of different brands, but I want it to be walmart.com because I understand the shipping, I understand the products, it's normally name brand products, so I wanna stick solely with them. And now we have 158 results, so that's much more doable for us try to get it low like i really like to see like 30 results but we'll go ahead and stick with this and that way i can kind of skip um, some of the ones that i don't want to go through so i'm kind of looking for three key features now on our remaining 158 results uh, the first thing is i want a significant discount so you see here in the red uh, is the discount and i want it to be significant like 50 percent so I would love to see um, a much higher discount here. The second consideration is name brands. I would really like for it to be a name brand. Uh, the bigger the name brand, the better it sells. So I like to see that as well. And the third thing is I like unique. I like like this. I like different colors. I like the, the pink you know, blenders and some of the weird things that you think, oh, nobody would pick that. Those are the things that sell better and sell for a higher price. So unique name brands, significant discount. Those are kind of my three, just real quick, straight out of the box criteria that I'm looking for. Now we're gonna go through each item kind of one by one. And it does take a little time. Uh, the more experienced you are, the faster the process, of course, and the more experienced your eye becomes at evaluating. Also, we've talked about you could hire virtual assistants, which are really inexpensive, and they can help you in this evaluation process too. But we're gonna do it ourselves, and we're just going to kind of uh, look through because of time considerations today, I'm gonna try to go really fast and skip ones that I feel wouldn't be good. So of our three criteria, the first one being um, a big discount. So I'm gonna look straight out of the box for something that shows me a really big discount. So, you know, that's getting bigger, but it's still not anywhere near 50%. Nor is that, that. Hope you can kind of follow me while I'm scrolling here. So I'm just gonna be patient. You, of course, could be clicking in each one of these if you wanted to, but I have to be quick today because we don't have a couple hours <laughs> for the video to spend doing this. So I might look at that one. Let me just kind of see what's on the first page. See if I like anything better. Okay, that one is probably the closest so far to being 50%. And I'm just eyeballing these, nothing fancy here, just looking for our three criteria. I want a big savings, I want a um, name brand, and I want it to be unique. So this is a pretty decent savings, it's unique. This is looks to be pink. And um, it's not the best name brand, but it's all right. So let's go ahead and click into this for our first item. Okay, so we can see that we can buy this for $18.32. Well, right away, price blink is going to pop up here and tell me that I can compare prices. So we waited for it to pop up. We're going to click and right away we can see where it's selling, Sears, Amazon, right? And the best part is that we can just go ahead and eyeball the price and kind of do a quick assessment. So I can buy it for $18.32 and I can sell it for $38.86. So that's really nice, right? That's very convenient and it's free, so that's pretty cool. But what I really like too is that I can just go ahead and click this button and it takes me right to the listing on Amazon. Now this one is obviously black and they're not all created equal as far as price. So I can see this one is $38.86 and it says that it's red. That sure looks, okay, that one looks more red. <laughs> like that really looked hot pink. Okay, so I think they're calling this red. 
not pink. Okay, and it says that the red is from $67.99. What I wanna do now is make sure that we are comparing apples to apples. I wanna go down and try to get the manufacturer part number and copy and paste it and just have an open, sorry, have an open Amazon window that I can look at. Okay, and that looks to be the same listing. Another thing I like to do, just so you know, is go ahead and copy the name, the whole title, and then go to Amazon Seller Central. Once you're in Amazon Seller Central, just go ahead and paste the name here and looking for a new product. You can see that it's showing two results. And the reason I like to do that is because sometimes when you're looking on your scanning apps or on your computer and you're just looking very rapidly, you see A listing and A price and you think that that's all that there is. Um, but when you go to take a closer look after you've acquired the product, you might see that there's actually a couple more listings that you didn't recognize originally and therefore a lesser price. And then you're like really bummed out because it wasn't as good as you thought it was. So I always like to double check at the beginning and that way I'm doing it before I purchase a product and not after. So I see that there's only two results. This one has nothing to do with what we're talking about. So let's go ahead and click into this one. And then I can see that the list price is $39.99. I can look at my competition here. Now competition, of course, is a common theme on Amazon. Um, actually, the competition just continues to get greater and greater as more and more people jump onto this. So how much competition is too much? Well, obviously when we want the least amount of competition possible, yet you know, competition is just one of the things that we're looking for. So it's gonna be really hard to find a product where all of the elements kind of line up and you know perfectly enhance one another and that's why this video is important is because you can kind of see how we look at all of them and then some might be not as good as we want but others might be really good and we go for it or we don't we make an educated decision so i can see here that there's three uh, competitors, none of which are Amazon. I will go on a listing against Amazon, but I don't like to, and I seldom, if ever, go above the Amazon price. So they always are the ceiling on the price for me anyway. So this is, you know, kind of what I'm looking at, and these are the prices. We have one, you know, that's a little lower, um, but none of these are prime. So the only competition I concern myself with is prime and so as far as i'm concerned there's zero competition for me on this listing and i like that so this would be a thumbs up as far as com competition is concerned okay so i'm back to our walmart site and i just clicked over here i have all the tabs open on my computer and i just can you know freely click back and forth so now that we've determined that this might be a good product as far as selling it on Amazon, so it's good enough to explore further. Uh, the first thing we looked at was competition, which we uh, determined was also good. So now I wanna check our price point and make sure it's even worth trying to sell it. And this is where FBA calculator comes in. So I'm just gonna click over to that. And here we are. And again, I'm just gonna copy and paste the title that we had set. I want to make sure that this is the correct item, and it is. And now we're just going to enter in our information. So we can sell it on Amazon for $38.86 was the highest price. But again, it wasn't FBA, it wasn't Prime. And when you are Prime, you can sell it for a little bit more, right? So I definitely think we can go at listed value here easily at $39.99. Now it's going to cost me at least probably 50 cents per unit. Um, in my calculation, you might be totally different, but in mine, I do 25 cents for a small light item, 50 cents for a larger item. It seems to be a good average for me. Um, I might be off sometimes, but I might be light other times, and it just seems to work out. These are Amazon shipping rates using UPS. All right, so that's how I do it. Anyhow, you can do it differently. And then the cost of the product to purchase from Walmart. I'm going to calculate. 
Now I like for my margin to be at 50%. That is my goal, but I know that I don't always get that online, even though I would like to. So now I'll look at other factors. Uh, the first factor being, is this a profitable item? Yes. Uh, the second factor is my profit being about, you know, $9.50 per product. I could probably scoot that up to easily my $10 mark. I like to be at, at least a $10 net profit per item. Can hit the $10 mark, I feel pretty easily because we were the only FBA seller. I think we could go higher on our item price. Um, I'm pretty confident at that. And that puts us over the $10 mark. Now the net margin, I'm okay with that if everything else plays out. So we'll just kind of be mindful of that and keep it in our head for right now. Another consideration is I'm gonna spend $18 of my money at Walmart and I'm only gonna get a $10 return. But I'm still kind of okay with that too. I'll just be mindful of it and keep it in the back of my head. Now let's go back to Walmart. I want to look at um, any kind of coupons that we might have. Now, Ebates we've talked about, and the reason why I like Ebates is everything that I buy online, which I'm gonna buy anyway, because I'm sourcing online, even if I buy it personally or if I buy it with business, anything that I shop for online, which is most everything, I go through Ebates. So I just make sure that this is active, and then I use it and I get a kickback every quarter. So I wanna make sure that that's active. But I want to look at this right now and just see um, if there's any place cheaper. Uh, a lot of times Price Blink will show you coupons. I'm not seeing any of that right now. So, okay, we're going to go with this $18.32 price. Now I want to go to Camel, Camel, Camel and see if the price that we were seeing on Amazon is consistent over time or if for some reason you know it's selling for more right now so it's showing the low price of 33 dollars and 79 cents which i'm not using as the price because that was there was this one person that was selling it for way cheap you know what i'm going to show you something i know this is kind of off of the mark 